Welcome to this introduction of the rotary evaporator, the PuriFlash RVAP. In this video, you'll see the technical specifications and workflow of our system which guarantees working comfort and time savings for your distillation needs. Our configuration includes the chiller, the rotary evaporator and the vacuum pump. The PuriFlash C500 is the perfect solution to supply the condenser. Within the chiller, you will save water consumption and control the temperature from minus 5 to 35 degrees Celsius. The PuriFlash RVAP integrates a cooling condenser with a high surface area. We have an online sample introduction valve. The receiving flask collects the solvent condensation. A wide range of glassware is available with a capacity of 50 ml to 3 litres. The vacuum pump suction is above the condenser. The cooling liquid flow supplied by the chiller goes through the vertical condenser. The rotation speed is set by a manual knob from 20 to 300 rpm with a clockwise and counterclockwise rotation mode. Various accessories are available according to your needs. We have a manual adjustment of the head tilt angle. The PTFE coating protects the bath from corrosion. We have two handles to carry the heating bath and drain it more easily. An integrated LCD display controls the temperature heating time and the mode of use. The heating bath can be used with water or oil for temperatures above 100 degrees with capacity up to 5 litres. To reduce the pressure inside the evaporator, the vacuum pump PuriFlash P-020 is regulated by a manual valve and the manometer gives the pressure value. Let's get to the sample drying. In combination with our flash chromatography systems like the PuriFlash XS520+, Plus, the PuriFlash RVAP enables you to dry and concentrate your collection tubes. First, the sample flask is connected to the glass join of the PuriFlash RVAP. The flask position is done with the manual lift handle. The heating bath is regulated at 40 degrees and the rotation speed is set at 100 rpm. The vacuum pressure is regulated at 100 millibar. During the evaporation, the solvent vapours go through the condensation area of the vertical condenser cooled by the chiller. We can look at the solvent drop condensation collected in the receiving flask. In a few minutes, our evaporation is complete because we don't have condensation droplets in the vertical condenser. We can remove the flask with our sample dried and empty the receiving flask. Mm -hmm. 